What's up guys, Yes McGann here and today we are playing Nike in the soul lane because when I look in the comment section almost every single video someone's asking Hey, can you play some Nike for us? And to be honest, I don't really play Nike that much. I don't find her really that fun in the soul lane. I, I think whenever you get the team fight she gets fun because she's really strong, but in the laning phase I always find her kind of boring, kind of like a Matarasu. In a lot of matchups you're just kind of sitting back and just kind of waiting. Basically, trying to get your clear off as safely as possible. And for Nike, her clear can be really good or honestly not that great depending on who you're laning against. Because of course, her one is her main clear and that thing is super easy to cancel out. And I believe if we're against a new Wa, we will be into trouble with that. But if we're against a Scotty, it shouldn't be too bad. Or a Kernanos. So I'm actually just going to go for the Death Toll. I could go for Mark of Vanguard as well, which I tried out before and it's okay. Or not okay, it's actually pretty good, so... Could have went for that, but I'm actually going to go for the Death Toll this game, just because, I don't know, I kind of want the extra damage as well as the sustain couldn't, should, won't, won't hurt that badly, so. Over the, let's say, the Mark of the Vanguard, uh, per, I guess extra damage mitigations, I suppose that's what you call it. I don't, I don't know, I, damage reduction, I guess? All it does is just reduce your damage. Yeah, damage reduction. So I think I'll just go for the Death Toll this game. We'll see what we're against. We're actually against the Kernanos, so I could have won for Blue Stone, but honestly, we're completely fine. Going the route we did. We actually got lucky he didn't start basic attacking the minions super early. Okay. So we're going to clear that out. I'm actually just going to go to the Fire Elementals right here and try and get the... Minter minions. I don't know why Murky and Poseidon actually didn't decide to go for anything right there. I find that kind of odd, but you know, decide to take the the uh, the safe route and go for the mid harpies, which you don't see too often, especially against a Kali. All right, I'm trying to poke him down while hitting the wave. Oh, they want to gank right lane. We could actually go for this. Go for the mana buff really quick since Kernos is stuck under the tower. Let's see if we can get this. Mercury already uses one. Okay, actually, it looks like Kernos is moving up. Ooh. Mercury wants to. Oh, he got the speed buff. Nice. What a play. What a play. Oh, man. If I have my one available, but I don't, I'm sad. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Kernanos is going to be over here. Oh, if Mercury had his three, but he used it already. That's okay. We're just going to go for the big minion over here. I lost that wave, which is too bad. But, I mean, we got the mana buff away from Kernanos. And we almost got Kali. If we got Kali, it would have been a huge win for us. But, unfortunately, we did not. So, I'm just going to go for this wave. All right. Great thing about Nike with the Death Toll is that you get the AoE Cleave, so you get the extra sustain. Which is always great if you go for the Death Toll. So gods like Osiris or Long Shen, of course. Bologna, they all get great effect out of it, or great use out of it. Oh yeah, he doesn't want to take any more damage from me. Does not have his dash anymore. Man, if we hit level 5 right there, ooh, there it is. See, should I go for it? Nah, he's too far back. See, I'll wait for him to move up a little bit here. Okay, Mercury's here. Okay, that didn't work as intended. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Mercury came in a bit late. I also didn't miss. I also missed the leap because he went forward instead of going uh, backwards. But you know what? That's completely fine. I'll go back to the base. And actually, hold on. I need to. I need to wait one more wave before I do that. Okay. Now I'll go back to the base. I want to get my warrior Tabi as quickly as possible. And yeah. So anyway, with that gank, Mercury went all the way around because he thought he was. Kernos was just going to stand under the tower, but Kernos made the smart decision and actually dashed forward, which kind of messed up Mercury. He couldn't get the easy dash on Kernos, and well, he ended up unfortunately not being able to get the kill. But you know what? It's it's not going to be the worst thing in the world for us. No one died, which is 
the most important thing there. But we have Kali over here, and I just stepped in her her uh, lash right there. That was kind of a <laughs> a little bit of a misplay. Got it. Took some, a bit of damage. It's not gonna be too bad for us though. The enemy's missing right. Mercury needs to be careful over there because Kali's definitely. Yep, there she is. I'm gonna have to run over here to help out Mercury. I don't know. Did he get those? Oh man. Still had his dash available. Looks like we should be able to get the mana buff here though. Okay, we did some damage to that guy. Uh, looks like Nuwa has vision of where we are, so Kali may actually come over. Actually, she's at her speed buff. Can I stop her from taking that? Oh, looks like I am. Oh, and Karno assaulted <laughs> at the same time. I'll take that as a win. Oh, she got the mana buff, though. Might be able to catch this Kuranos, however. Yeah, Mercury's gonna be able to pick it up. Mercury's saying sorry for picking up the kill, but honestly, I don't have a problem with Mercury picking up the kill. I mean, Mercury's gonna be the hyper carry here. Nike's good late game, but as a frontliner, mostly, and her passive, of course, is strong, so it's not really a big deal if Mercury gets the... Kill instead of me. I actually prefer that because if he gets snowballing, it's gonna be really hard for Kali because this is a double hyper carry matchup this game with the Kali and the Mercury. So usually whichever one's ahead is the one that tends to win all the trades. It also depends on if Kali has beads. If Kali doesn't have beads and Mercury gets the first gets the first strike, then he usually wins. I mean, because if you can get a few crits, she, she usually dies instantly. Unless she goes for a Nemean Lion late game, which she could end up doing. Or maybe a Mantle Discord or something, so... Mercury just needs to worry about that, but other than that, I think he should be able to win these fights if he gets ahead and she doesn't have her beads up. Okay, I'm gonna go back to base. We will go... We could go Mark of the... V Actually, that would be really good right now. Something a lot of I've seen a lot of soul laners do these days is to get the mark of the vanguard after their boots, which supports have been doing for I mean since last season. So it's not a something that's completely new, but I've I've tried it out a few times. You saw me pick it up in the in the Osiris game. I've been seeing people do it in the SPL and stuff, and it actually is pretty good. Mark of the Vanguard's a really strong item in terms of what it gives you defense wise. Uh, for a good portion of the game, like mid game, it's still uh, decently strong, especially for the cost. The only thing is that it doesn't build into anything, which can be annoying, but it's mostly just a build, kind of like a a slower build up to your final build kind of deal. It's not really a big issue since uh, soul laners tend to get a bit more gold anyway than a lot of the other roles, so still definitely a good option in my opinion. And ooh, looks like we got new wa ooh, Aegis. Kuzumbo had a good ultimate there, but ah, oh, Kepri as well. And the meditation. God, they have everything, don't they? Kuzumbo might actually be dead here. I'm just gonna go under the tower, see if I can get anything here. Do you not see me? Oh. <laughs> we got the double kill, I guess. That works. That works with me. Uh oh, it's Scotty though. She already used her one though, it's not really that big of a deal, I think. Oh, actually her ultimate. Oh no, I'm gonna be going down here. Rip me. Rip me. And Medusa Medusa probably could have rotated around and gotten a kill there. I don't know why she didn't, but that's alright, I guess. We still ended up getting a double kill, but Scotty came over with everything, I guess. She still had her ultimate available and was able to get me. And Kali got the kill, which is the worst. Thing that could have happened. I guess Kali doesn't have beads actually. She went for the blink. So that that's actually really good since we do have a lot of lockdown on our team. We have the Kuzumbo, the Mercury, as well as the Poseidon to go on top of that. So it's going to be tough for her to deal with our team until she gets those beads online. But she hasn't died yet, which is something that we're uh, we should definitely be looking to do. Just try and gank her as much as possible. And does Mercury? 
Looks like he wants to Kali. I don't know. I have to go to my lane, though. Oh, I actually could have landed that on him. Oh, nice job from Mercury. Got the knock up. There it is. Mercury's going to be able to pick up the kill. Oh my gosh. Are we going to get the Kepri as well? A nice Kuzumbo pin if we control all the sides. He's oh no, Mercury. Mercury wasn't on the right side there. That's all right. He's still going to go down. Really good gank from my Kuzumbo and Mercury. That was a really good play from Mercury or uh, Kuzumbo mostly. Kuzumbo had a fantastic play there. Okay. Probably didn't need to use the ultimate, but you know what? We got the kill. And that's a win in my book. And we can actually get this tower as well. Actually, Kernanos is back. <laughs> my team just proxying the wave. Let's see if Kernanos, if Kernanos chases. Oh no, Kepri's over here as well. Nah, Kernanos is just going to stand at the tower. That's pretty funny though. My team just proxying Kernanos. What is Kernanos? Okay, Dev's gloves, really, in the soul lane. I wasn't expecting that. I was, I was thinking he would go for Transcendence or something. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Even I don't even know. Even Blood Forge possibly, but you probably want to get some, some items and maybe get that later on because it's one expensive item. But I don't know. I was expecting him to have want some more power since his ability scales so well, but he decided against it. Okay, looks like Mercury's gonna get caught by Kali. I don't know if we can even get this Kali either. Okay. Ooh, my team didn't finish the speed buff. I thought they were gonna finish it right there. I think. Ooh. Karnas showing up. Nah, he's gonna be able to get it with his one. Oh, there's a Kraken. Oh, I didn't get my leap off. Man. Mercury does- oh, Mercury does have his ult. Oh, he should've just- oh, he's going for it. He should've ulted earlier. I, I guess he, he might have not actually seen her. Oh, there she is. She's so low! Oh, she's at the speed buff, too. Okay, Mercury's just gonna go for the Capri. I mean, he's gonna get the kill, so it's not really a, a big deal. Of course, Kali, a kill on her would've been nice, and- ooh, another kill, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the Breastplate. Actually, just gonna teleport in. I think my team wants it to gank here. And I think I could have just walked, but I wanted to teleport so we could help with the gank. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Kuzumbo gonna grab him after the, the, in, the initial throw from Mercury. And he's just gonna be thrown into the tower. And we're gonna get another kill on that Kernanos. And we should be able to get this mana buff as well. This Kuzumbo... Has been killing it. Honestly, a lot of the supports it feel, I feel like in my videos are just <laughs> carrying the game with how uh, much pressure they're providing. I probably should have used my my two after I got uh, two basic attacks off right there, but that's fine. Kepri is in the right side again. Still, he's all. It seems like he's always a step behind our. Uh, oh, I guess Kernos had that. He's always a step behind our Kuzumbo, who's just been like I said. Really carrying the game with his rotations. I shouldn't have an issue if Kali ganks me here. Even with Kernanos is here, I think I should be able to survive. Despite Kernanos having some ridiculous damage right now. I think I have enough uh, survivability with the Mark of the Vanguard and the Breastplate of Valor right now. Oh, I missed. Got new wall ulting on us. I think wall ultimate actually did a little bit of damage. Oh, okay, he ulted us. Can we get this guy? Yep. Bye bye, Kernanos. I don't know why he went for the fight there. Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't really have a chance of winning against me with my breastplate and my mark of the vanguard. But he decided to take it, and then he didn't walk away from my 
my leap range and I was able to jump on him and get a free knock up so I was able to kill him quicker than I anticipated so yeah good fight for us it looks like my team got kind of got wrecked on the left side though All right, let's see. I kind of want to go. We'll go Void Shield this game. Void, sh yeah, vo Void Shield, and then uh, and then Thorns. I think will be good for us since we're, it's going to give us the protections, the damage, and it's going to give us the Thorns, which is going to be great into this Kali and Double Hunter lineup they have here. Probably going to get the Nemean Lion next as well. And just try and... Actually, no, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do that with new wall. Probably a spirit robe and then we'll go for it. Okay, what does Mercury have now? Looks like he's going for that wind demon. He went for a pretty expensive build, which uh, may put him a bit behind because... He still has to build that wind demon and that death bringer, which are also extremely expensive. In addition to that heart seeker he already has. Which, of course, got a price... A pretty hefty price increase in the last patch so yeah his build is kind of expensive but I think he'll be able to make it up I don't know we'll see we're trying we're trying well we have to in these fights we have to try and take out either Karnos I think or Kali before things really get started because they're gonna be the biggest damage threats in my opinion Ooh, nice Karnos ultimate but I think I should we should still be able to get this Capri Okay, where's Kepri? Wait. Oh, there he is. Just went, he went in the other direction. Should be able to get the new wall here. Ooh, nice Kepri ult, though. Oh, he wait, he did it too early. Oh, mer oh no. I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I think Mercury may have made the hottest misplay of season four. Uh, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was pretty, pretty bad. He went in with the ultimate. I guess he missed, and we couldn't get anything off of that because I couldn't kill them. I didn't have enough damage. The new wall or the Capri. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. I don't know. I, Sad for us though, because that's gonna cost us the portal demon. Actually, Medusa is probably gonna die here as well. Oh, actually, using the ultimate so she doesn't get Scotty ult. And it looked like Scotty was actually backing away because she knew our team was coming in. So mm. maybe a bit of a a bit of a wasted Medusa ultimate, but I guess better safe than sorry. Kernos and Kali are pushing out the right side, so I'm gonna have to attend to this. But I don't know if we can even stop. Oh, actually, Kali went back to base, so maybe we can stop them. Oh, no, she didn't. Yeah, we can't stop them by ourselves. That's not happening. She doesn't have the chin size yet, though. But the executioner is going to be good into us since we do have phys a lot of physical protections right now. And probably going to get more after I get the, uh, I think, spear robe this game. I probably will go for the Nemean Lion. You know, Enfeebling wouldn't have been too bad this game, I think. Oh no, that Poseidon ultimate. Oh, Mercury! Oh, Kali with the big ult, or Kepri with the big ult. I don't know, I think Mercury should be able to get this. We'll see. Oh, the ultimate from Kali. I'm gonna say be careful to Mercury just in case. There it is, Mercury got it. But I think he might actually be. We may actually be dead here and oh no the root still got me i should be still be dead here i think yeah i mean i can't get away from kernos he does just way too much damage with the fatalis and everything with his one he's able just to stick me with or with his one he's able to do a lot of damage with the fatalis being able to stick to me i think we should be able to get the scotty here though that is a lot of damage Kepri's ultimate i believe is down so yeah he used it on the on the kali earlier and he doesn't have any cdr so we're gonna be able to get one should be able to get the kepri as well actually Poseidon actually got dangerously low from that kepri Jeez. 
Okay. Medusa got the kill. That's fine. I, honestly, even though they have a Kali, I think our late game should be better. Just for the reason that they have three hunter or three in basic attackers. They have the Kali and the Scotty and the Kronos. I guess Scotty's not going to, it's not at, like as basic attack oriented. Uh, relying a lot on the penetration uh, build it looks like she's going for. So maybe not for her, but definitely for Kernanos and Kali. Uh, Nemean Lion is going to be really good against them. Witchblade could be okay as well, but the problem with Witchblade is I'm not going to be getting the most effect out of it, I think. I don't think the healing is going to be as impactful. Just because I don't know how much I'm going to be basic attacking Kali. And she's the main issue with the healing. I guess Kernanos as well, so... Uh, I could have got a Brawler's Beat Stick, though. That'd actually be a really good Brawler's Beat Stick. Hmm, I may go Spirit Robe. Right now, Nemean Lion. And then sell... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell Mark of the Vanguard for Brawler's Beat Stick, Beat Stick later. That or the... Pestilence. But I think Brawler's Beat Stick would be actually really good. It would also give me a bit of extra damage. Which always helps, but... Yeah, we'll see. Also, since Nike's one doesn't have too bad of a... Uh, scaling when you count up all the hits so the brawler speed stick it wouldn't be too bad the base that my base damages aren't too low either so plus the extra power from my passive the penetration will come in handy although it's not percentage like titan's vein which would be wouldn't be too bad to get either it's just that i really think that anti-healing would actually be decent here oh new lost solo oh i should have used thorns earlier that's okay we're still gonna be able to get the kill Oh man, Kernanos is so low right now. You know, Kuzumbo's getting attacked a little bit, but I kind of want to... I'm just going to keep going on this Kernanos. He is so low. There it is, Medusa. Great ultimate from her. Should be a dead Kepri as well. Let's go for this Fire Giant. Great fight overall. They bit off a bit more than they could chew. We are going to lose the Phoenix though, and I... Totally just got knocked up, and again, oh my god. I need to stop getting knocked up here. I'm getting wrecked by knock-up, jeez. Okay. Oh my god. Why did that... I thought that was aggroing Kuzumbo. Oh well. Rip me, I guess. I thought Kuzumbo was the one who got aggroed after Medusa left range, but I guess I got aggroed at the last second and it switched to, to me to basic attack me and hit me with the knockup. That was just sad. That was just unfortunate. I got stuck in the endless loop of, uh... Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That never happened. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I got stuck in the endless loop of knockups from, uh, Fire Giant and then... I, when I came back in, I got aggroed instantly because I guess Kuzumbo wasn't close enough, I guess. I guess that's what happened. I don't know, because it switched to me right when it was about to get the knockup, which sucked because I didn't see it coming. But you know what? That's fine. We still got the Fire Giant, I guess, even though I don't have it. Which would have been very useful because... I'm a tank and I like the regeneration, but... I'll survive, I suppose. I already have the HP 5 for my 2. Oh, jeez, I overshot. Still got her ultimate, though. Oh, we got Kali. Got a Medusa ultimate on Kernanos. It, it wasn't as good as probably intended. Oh, jeez, Mercury just went in by himself. Okay, we took down the dog. Uh-oh. Oh, that was like, such a good stun from Kali. Oh, looks like she's going to back off because she didn't get it. She didn't get the reset. We did lose the Kuzumbo, though, unfortunately. Okay, they want to re-engage. That wouldn't be a bad idea here. Oh. I re-engaged, but the team, I guess, split their decision or something? I don't know. It looks like Poseidon went on the left side for some reason instead of going mid. I don't know what happened there. Well. 
That is too bad. The re-engage was a failure. Your middle phoenix is under attack. We just need another good team fight because we won that one earlier because we have a good team fighting team. I guess Besides far behind, so his crack is not gonna be hitting as hard. But Medusa is still in a good spot. I mean, that Kraken still is going to pack a punch against their uh, against their squishy team. Even though he doesn't have Obsidian Shard completed yet, I guess he'll probably have it. Not quite. Okay, still not. But yeah, they still have three hunters, so it's still not going to be too bad. Especially if we get a nice Medusa or Mercury Ultimate into it, or even a knockup from me, that would be quite nice. But. All these, all these things are ifs, so it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. And they have two going, for, going for the portal demon here. I mean, I can try and steal it, but oh, we actually scared him off by just walking up. Okay, that works with me. Didn't really have to do anything there, but hey. Hey, we stopped, we stopped them from getting the portal demon. My presence too spooky, I guess. Okay, we're gonna go back to base. Okay, they're probably gonna get it now. And I, I can't defend if their whole team's there. We'll get the spirit robe though. And then we'll go for the pestilence and then sell this for Brawler's Beat Stick. Or Winged Blade. Winged Blade wouldn't be terrible either. But I think Brawler's Beat Stick would be better. Or actually, uh, Nemean Line, I meant not uh, pestilence. Nimi line and then the Brawler's Beat Stick. Okay, are they... Looks like they want to push up again. They'll probably take the right side this time. A left tower... Or left Phoenix did get... Actually, no, they're all running all the way to left. Okay. Yeah, left is a bit weakened because it did have to respawn, but... They have to walk all the way over here, and I think we have a good fight on this side, so... The only thing is that we need a... This, this Phoenix is really important to keep up because... It's really hard to defend the fire giant whenever that phoenix is is down, so... I'm gonna make sure that's up and... Oh no, Mercury actually got caught by the Kali. I mean, he got Kepri there, but... I mean, how much are we gonna be able to do with the Kepri, unfortunately? Uh, Mercury's gonna die. Uh, Mercury was just a bit out of position. I don't know why he went all the way over there, but... We're gonna lose him for that. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go in here. Oh! Ooh, Kali's ultimate. Oh man, that's the Phoenix. Man, Kepri is so low, and so was Kali, but they both got away. Ooh, there it is! Nice, he got the Kepri. Alright. We need to make sure Medusa stays alive. She's our main damage dealer at the moment. Okay. I'll probably have to go for the Nemean Lion now. Can't go for that brawler speed stick early. Probably need the protections mostly for Kali. It, for some reason, it doesn't feel like Kernanos is doing all that much to me. I probably I, he's probably just not hitting his basic attacks honestly. His abilities aren't doing as much because he doesn't have Titan's Bane. He went for the Executioner. Oh man, should have I guess boosted right there. Nuwa though, if she hits her burst, that is some damage. Uh, Kuzumbo's by himself. Oh, Kuzumbo is dead. Oh my god. He just got melted. Uh, I almost cancelled out her... Or I got her Magi's. Looks like we're gonna lose here though. Yeah. Scotty does too much damage to the Titan. Oh well. Good game. I mean, it was an okay start for us, I guess. I, we, we got rolling at the beginning, but... Unfortunately, I guess we just had a poor time in mid. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Poseidon looked like he he uh, wasn't in the best of spots. So I don't know if they just if Kali just focused mid or something. But fortunately, fortunately we got wrecked. We did get 40 worshippers for that though. Yeah, got, got the double, got the booster with the uh, triple worshippers. That's always nice. Gonna hit rank three on her with the 40 worshippers. Last game I got 73 just from winning. So you do get a considerable amount more if you do win. Uh, yeah.
Actually, Poseidon did too a little damage. Then again, he could have just been throwing out the whirlpools. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We just couldn't. We just couldn't wait out until uh, me and Kuzumbo were tanking enough to deal with the triple hunters. They got ahead early, I guess. The uh, Scotty felt like she was really far ahead, but she was in the duel lane, and Medusa wasn't feeding her or anything. Medusa actually went eight, two, and two. So I don't know. I guess Scotty full pen. Scotty just does a lot of damage in the fights, so I should have been ready for that but yeah rough game unfortunate that we lost uh it was a good start for us even with the uh even with this game ending like it did i think i think if we i, I don't know i think if we would have been able to keep the game going for a little longer we could have uh won that game i don't know mercury had a really ex odd expensive build going for the heart seeker and then wind demon i guess he went poison star first which kind of put him behind, so he was never able to really make that much of an impact towards the mid to later stages of the game. Where Mercury can do a lot early game because his setup is really good, but mid to late game, you want to have your items online. And his build was just really tough, as you can tell right here. He went Poison Star, Wind Demon, and Malice. I think he got Malice because he didn't have enough for Deathbringer. So he didn't have Titan's Bane or Stone Cutting Sword or anything like that to kind of help him get his damage off. Because you want to, you know, crits hit hard, but you really want the penetration from Titan's Bane or something to help you... To help you actually get the crits that you really want. Especially into gods like Kepri, who is just going to have a ton of physical protections. So, yeah. Also, I don't know. I I, th I guess Poseidon did damage, but he felt like he was really far behind or something. I don't know. Maybe it was because... Maybe his Krakens just weren't hitting. I'm not quite sure. That could have been the case. Also, I mean, a few times he got his Kraken off, but Kali ulted and didn't die. So... <laughs> That ended up being an issue, and Kali just kind of got going. I mean, I lo looking at her build, it's not even that great. And she didn't have the chin size in her build. She went Executioner and Titan's Bane, which is kind of weird. But then again, I, I look at her damage. Her damage is actually really low. So I don't know. Maybe she was just maybe she was just swiping away the kills, and it was all the Scotty and Nuwa. Well, Nuwa is mostly the ultimate, but Scotty was doing a lot of damage. It felt like, and then Kurninos. I mean, although he had a tough early game, it's still Kurninos. So <laughs> if you if you get your you don't even need to get your items online. It's if if you get if you farm up and you get your your uh, levels, then you're able to wreck some people. But yeah, tough game. I mean, we still got some a good gameplay with Nike. It wasn't a bad game overall. It was kind of in a weird matchup where it was against a Kernanos, which you would probably won't be seeing Kernanos too often in the soul lane. You kind of see him everywhere right now because he's new and pretty OP. But after this patch, I believe he's getting nerfed. Probably won't be seeing him in the soul lane too often anymore. But yeah, so this has been the SMA game I'm playing some Nike in the soul lane. Uh, you could say that I just, uh, just did, did, did it, did, did it. Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.